Welcome to another episode of Tech Drill. In Tech Drill, we bring you the latest in AI powered development tools. Today, we will dive into the exciting world of PR code reviews with GitHub Copilot, which makes your reviews faster, smarter, and more efficient. As part of today's session, we will be looking on the PR code review, how to set the code review guidelines at a repository level, and the third one, automatic code review configurations. Let us move to our repository. I have an organization, AMB org, under that there is a real estate repository where we are going to create a new PR. So there are multiple changes and as part of the branch, whenever you do a progressive development, you create new branches for future development. Once it's complete, you merge it back to main using a PR. So there are 10 commits are here. Either I can view the existing PR or go for creating a new PR. This is a search feature implementation. So let me give a proper title search feature implementation and takes the help of Copilot to add the summary. As part of the PR, we have modified multiple files with uh, multiple commits as well. There are commits happened on September and August. So many commits are there, around 10 commits with the nine files changed. It's uh, difficult for us to summarize all the committed changes. Take the help of Copilot to summarize the commits in a proper way. And after that, you can go ahead and create the pull request. Let us request GitHub Copilot to review this PR or review all the changed files. For that, go to the reviewers section in the PR and search for Copilot. Most of the time, Copilot will be the first entry. Select this one. The review is started. You can observe that the Copilot review is um, just kick started and that will be added one entry down here as well. That's a review from Copilot is requested just now. And we need to wait for a few seconds to complete this review based on how many files and the size of files. It may take a little more time. Let the review complete. Meantime, we will move to the second topic of the day. That is coding guidelines. Currently, Copilot is using standard guidelines for reviewing your code. But as an organization, you may have certain coding guidelines which needs to be enforced as part of the review process. These guidelines you will be able to set up as part of the Copilot settings. For that, open the settings of this repository. Once the settings are open, navigate to the Copilot code review section. Code review is under preview. In case the code review is not enabled for your organization, you can raise a request from the Copilot preview features page. I will be sharing that link in the description. Please have a look on that. So let us go ahead and create a new coding guidelines, create guidelines. Either you can add the existing guidelines from here, that's the samples provided, or you can open this link to learn more about this coding guidelines. It's provided a set of samples at the end, like the avoiding using magic numbers, select star in SQL queries, fetch, and tag metrics with the current environment. So these are the samples provided. In case you need further, even you can take the help of Copilot to define a detailed coding guidelines based on your requirement. So I am going ahead by using some of the things here. Let me just add the select star in SQL query. This is what I need. For testing this guideline or getting an understanding on what exactly this query or this 
coding guidelines mean I can add some sample code here either you can paste your sample file or you can ask copilot to generate a sample the first one is violating the guidelines because I am using select star and the second one is a proper one aligned to the guidelines run this one to understand the response from copilot now copilot is going to evaluate the sample code based on the defined guideline in line 2 avoid select star in SQL query this is what the violation is we understand that as the coding guideline setup is working fine once it's done you can add some file path as well you can specify a file path like a pattern this guidelines needs to be used for verifying a particular path maybe you don't need to review the codes generated as part of your testing cycle or it's part of your configuration area something which you need a specific inclusion then specify that path using the patterns it can be either all of them or it can be a specific branch or path together so I am not adding any specific path here it's an optional constraint coding guidelines I have defined here is used for reviewing the files in my repository there is no specific file pattern specified so you can go ahead and save this guideline first one is added let me go ahead and add one more thing uh, let us add avoid using magic numbers this were guidelines I needed don't use magic numbers numbers should be defined as constant or variables here also I can generate a set of samples and test it out normally the samples like a um, uh, 5 into 10 or sometimes pi values and all we just add the numbers instead of constant that needs to be avoided that's what this guidelines is specified here the length and width is uh, it's added as variables and used as part of thing so it's complaint this is not complaint line 4 is not complaint so let us save this guidelines as well there are two guidelines first one is SQL second one is magic numbers now going back to our PR where we requested copilot the review let us see what kind of review it suggested you can observe that there is a small install issue is specified that's a one it's captured small mistake copilot understand because here all the files are yml files there is no major constraint as part of this particular pr now let me just go ahead and modify some of the SQL files so I'm going for one of the other branch customer feedback branch to the DB script and just add a select statement here against the policy that is nothing but select star from users so this is what I have added as part of change let me just commit directly into that branch let us introduce the numbers as well in verify pi by yeah I have some numbers but uh, let me just try to add one function here with the help of copilot itself and it's created the radius let me just copy paste here and the import goes on top and I just replace math.py with 3.14 it's a hard coded value I should not use this way but let me just add that one going ahead and saving so we are in customer feedback I'm going back to the customer feedback and raising a new PR 
let me quickly create a new PR with a testing coding guidelines and adding the description with the help of copilot itself quickly create the pull request and adding copilot as the reviewer just now it's requested a code review even automatic review is enabled for this one that's the next step let the copilot review and we will see how it's going to check our two files especially the files we modified one is the looks like we have merged this back that is from main to customer feedback that's the pr it's doing but we need the reverser so let us go ahead and raise another pr that is the customer feedback to main merging so let me just go ahead and see here the main and customer feedback there is already an existing pr is there and the yeah these are the two files we committed and this one is already reviewed by copilot we can re-request the review i'm just asking copilot to review this code again which covered our two files these two files that is what we needed so let us see how copilot is going to review these two files meantime let us move to the third topic that is how to set automatic copilot review for your repository or at an organization level again going back to the settings area in branches in repository settings go to branches you have the rules here go to a rule set and you can create a branch rules set under branch rule set you have an option to require a pull request before merge indicating that for a particular branch a pull request is mandatory when the pull request is there you need to review the code with the help of copilot so this the settings if you enable any pr for this repository automatically get reviewed by copilot you don't need to request copilot to review it instead all the prs in this particular repository satisfying this branch rule set will go through copilot review this is repository level setting but sometimes we may need this setting at an organization level go to your organization settings repository rule set exactly the same way you can add a branch rule set and add all the target repositories here it's not for one repository you can specify that include all the repositories or a set of selected repositories you can specify if you want to select a single repository you can go ahead and select that as well or you can mark it as all repositories in my organization i need this particular rule set we will go in deeper into various rule set but right now our objective is how to enforce code review for all repositories in my organization using github copilot require a pull request before merge and if you need approval and all you can set multiple things but our focus is this one request pr review from copilot so this settings ensure that all the target repositories when there is a pr copilot review will be part of that it's automatically kickstart the copilot review so you can set the copilot review that automatic copilot review at a repository level or at an organization level by selecting specific repository or all repositories let us go back to our review process how it's done yeah the select the old files also part of this uh, pr so it's reviewed that as well there is a select star query here 
and this is what we done verify.py there is a hard coded magic number that is 3.14 that's a pi constant needs to be applied and there are a few files because um, this is a tsql language not supported so remember copilot code review is in the initial stage which all languages its support is listed as part of the documentation the code review is supporting right now c sharp go java javascript markdown python ruby and typescript it will not support the review of other files in our case the SQL file is omitted because it's not an HTML is not supported that's why these two files are not reviewed by github copilot but if you are going for the a review selection in an IDE which is covered as part of one of the previous video support all languages please refer the video from the description going back to our topics of discussion the first one is PR code review how quickly you can get a review by copilot how to set the code review guidelines the guidelines are set in a repository level to ensure that the review is aligned to the coding standards of your organization and how to enforce the automatic code review at the repository or an organization level Please review the language support for Copilot code review in a repository level. ID level all the languages are supported. Try it out today. Thank you.